Yeah, this neighborhood is completely packed. It's like a taxi storage, right? Hey, good morning. Today I'm going to have a bit of a different video. And uh, I'm going to try and help a friend out. A friend who is a taxi driver here uh, in Bangkok. And I asked him to pick me up today and to go and show me a parking lot where a lot of taxis that are not used uh, are being stored at the moment. And him being a taxi driver himself, I mean, he's been uh, suffering the last year. Um, lack of tourists, uh, lack of customers. And basically the last couple of months he's been sitting home. Uh, he wasn't able to pay his car payments anymore. And uh, yeah, I know we cannot help the whole world, but at least we can try and help out the people that are close to us. And uh, Kun Lek, I think we know him already for five or six years. So today I'm going to try and help him out. Um, I talked with uh, Mr. Paul Rogers and Paul uh, told me that he wanted to help as well. So Paul is uh, involved in this in this project. So um, let's see. I mean, uh, Mr. Lek or Kun Lek, he has no idea what's going on. So uh, it will be a big surprise for him. And I'm going to I'm just going to try and ease his burden a little bit. Ah, okay, so Kunlek is arriving. So... Sorry, Kap Kunlek. Sorry, Kap. How are you? Fine, thank you. Uh, thank you. Good, good, good. Long time no see, nah? Yeah. It's good to see you. Yeah. Okay, so let's go. Okay. We're here in Nakam Patom at the Bowan Taxi Company. Hello, Kunlek. How are, How are you? <laughs> so yeah, we just wanted to have a look and uh, I noticed online that there is several of these kind of yards where taxis are parked. And um, yeah, so I thought I will ask my friend. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> how are you? So Kulek, how, how long do we know each other? Um, I think five I think. years? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Five about, or six years, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Kulek is a taxi driver. This is his uh, taxi. And already since five or six years, we uh, we use Kulek if we want to get to to different places in Thailand. And he's a really good guy. So we just know from from driving around in Bangkok. I remember one time, I think you yeah, you took Kun, Kun Mirella, right? And then yeah, she got yeah, the phone yeah. number. Yeah. And uh, that's how we got in touch with Kulek. And um, yeah, so the thing is that the past year has been quite difficult for the taxi drivers uh, in Bangkok. And I can just show you a little bit from here. Unfortunately, this place is closed, but we just got a shot from the back of the yard. And this is where all the taxis are parked that are not driving at the moment. And uh, this is a corporation, I think, right? Yeah. yeah. So Kunlek has a private taxi, and uh, which means he owned the taxi himself and uh, he just explained me a little bit and the problem is well the last couple of months you could not work really good yeah, right? yeah, cannot, cannot. because of the covid it's dangerous yeah. so we're here now at the boan taxi company but as you can see this is all the taxis that are uh, just standing here and are not working yeah so unfortunately we are not able to get into the premises here in bangkok there are several yards like this with a lot of taxis that are just standing idle and are not able to drive so you have to imagine every taxi that you see here is a driver that's sitting home okay so we are on our way back to the city and this is the rama 8 bridge which is a, a long elevated highway going in the direction of the old town so we are heading in the direction of Khao San Road and here in the front you can see the whole skyline of, uh, of the city. So Kunlek, how many years have you been working as a taxi driver? Um, ten years. Ten years now? Yeah. Ah, okay. So so when we meet you, I think you were working four or five years, right? About five years. Okay. Kunlek just explained to me that it's now almost a year or a little over a year already that he worked for the last time normal as a taxi driver. So he only works when when we call him and when he has some special uh, clients, but that's that's not regular. And the reason is because, well, it's too expensive for the gasoline, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. So 
there, there is no customer, so Kunlek normally drives around in Superweed area. And uh, yeah, there is no tourists, so that, first of all, there is little customers. And especially in the last couple of months, uh, when we have the lockdown, uh, nobody's working from the office. So it doesn't make sense to drive around and spend money on gasoline and, uh, and not making enough. So, um, so this is this is your car, right? You own the car. Um, my car, but the company now, you know. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So you you work together with the company. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is the Big Cow area, and we are heading back to Bangkok. So a little bit ahead, we'll have the bridge over the Chao Phraya River, and this is the Central, Central Plaza. Big yeah, Central Big Cow. Yes. And then there in front you see a bridge, which is the blue MRT line. The circular line of the blue and MRT goes through here as well. So, so Kun, Kun Lek, huh? where, where are you from original? Yeah, and I'm in Bangkok. From Bangkok? Okay. Yeah, from Bangkok. From where in Bangkok? And Khong Thai. Ah, from Khong Thai? Yeah, Lama Pho, Khong Thai. Okay, we're yeah. neighbor. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> This is Pata Pingao, you know. Ah, okay. Shopping, shopping. Ah, big shopping mall. Old, old shopping. Pata. Ah, okay. Yeah. Pata. Yeah, Pata. I have to come here one time with a bicycle. Yeah. So now we're getting close to the Chao Phraya River. So the two white buildings you see in front, that is uh, on the river. Yeah. I'm happy to see you, Collect. Mm -hmm. Good yeah, to yeah. see you. Yeah. yeah. Shaking a lot. <laughs> you know, I never made a video from a, from the car. I always yeah. do with a bicycle. So this is the first time, but it looks actually quite nice. So here we are at the Chao Phraya. Yeah, yeah. And here we drive into the old center. So to the right, you'll have the Grand yeah. Palace, and here you have the the National Theater, right? This is the theater, no? Yeah. Yeah. So this is the Royal Hotel? Latanakosin Hotel. Latanakosin. Yeah, yeah. Okay. You're a good guy, eh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was just thinking, I wanted to take this opportunity uh, because Kun Lek has not been working too much. And uh, when everything is back to normal and you guys are coming back to Bangkok, I can recommend Kun Lek as a good driver. Yeah. I mean, he's uh, very reliable. I will put the, the phone number. Um, do you have email? And email no. No, okay. So I will put Only the number. I will put the phone number uh, on the bottom of this um, yeah. of this video. And also, if anybody is interested, then you can send me an email at globaltravelmate at gmail .com, and then I will get you in touch with uh, with Kun Lek. Oh, this is a nice statue, eh? With the four elephant here. Yeah. Uh, elephant. Yeah, so Kunlek basically can pick you up from the airport or if you want to go and see a day trip, that's also possible. So Kunlek just wanted to show me an area where a lot of taxi drivers just park their car. And uh, so in this neighborhood, you will see a lot of parked taxis, but the drivers are not living here. They just uh, left them here. So these are basically all people that were not able to work for the past year. Imagine I just looked at the numbers. In 2015, there were 100,000 registered taxis in Bangkok. Imagine 100,000 taxis, I mean, and this is all 
based on the millions of tourists that normally come but without the tourists then uh, there's obviously not enough work what is this area the name uh, Here. <laughs> yeah, so this is doesn't look that dramatic as the parking lot, but it's uh, it's actually quite similar. Yeah, so for those who don't know, the all the pink cars and all the the bright colors cars, they're all taxis, and the red one here. This neighborhood is completely packed with uh, it's like a taxi storage, right? Okay, so we are now back in Sukhumitsoi 11, which means this is the end of our trip that we did today. So thank you so much, Kunlek, for showing me around. Okay, bye bye. Yes. <laughs> and thank you um, very much. so thank you so much, Kunlek, okay, for showing me. Up. So I want to tell you, Kunlek, I have one follower from my channel. His name is Mr. Paul, yeah. and he told me that he wants to help you for paying your. Uh, uh, part of your money yeah. that you have to pay yeah. for the taxi yeah. so he wants to give you 10,000 baht yeah. so um, I will give it to you now and then you have to promise you pick him up when yeah. he comes back to Bangkok right yeah 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 okay sure, perfect sure, sure. yeah for sure yeah, sure, okay. sure so Paul you get the free no not free Paul you get your transport from the airport whenever you come back to Thailand thank you so much okay Kof Kumaka. okay thank you, you. Time. thank you yes bye bye, bye, -bye.